Well, obviously, the uh, elder statesman, myself and Graham Wagger, uh, led the charge in the yo-yo. But no, no, I was pretty happy with the all-round fitness of all the guys, to be honest. Um, yeah, we did a couple of sprint tests and um, weighing in and weighing out and, uh, and the yo-yo fitness test as well. I just think this time of year, you just got to keep, you know, a lot in the tank to improve upon come Jan, March time. So, yeah, the older guys will give them the, the kind of advantage this time of year. But when it comes to March, we'll turn the tables then, hopefully. So a little trick in the trade that I saw, there was a bit of use of a chair just to save the old knees, you know, put the drinks on that on the yo-yo, save the from the bending down. Something you've picked up, Dean? Yeah, I've learned a few tricks of the trade throughout my uh, years' experience here, and the, you know, the, the further you have to bend down to pick your drink up, the easier it gets, the higher levels you get. So uh, yeah, that's a little trick that I've uh, mastered over the years. And obviously two um, fairly senior players, and just, um, very senior yourself, Dean, leader from the front, Evergreen, and, uh, and also yourself, Will, uh, been at the club for a, a few years now. What do you hope to get out of your, your winter here in the UK, not off uh, sunning yourself in Australia or South Africa like some of the lads? Uh, this year for me has been a bit different. Um, I've kind of put a little different twist on it. I'm, I'm studying towards uh, chartered status in um, wealth management. And I'm currently uh, undertaking a kind of internship, if you like, with a wealth management firm called Bartholomew Hawkins uh, that are based at Cardiff Business Gate, for any of you out there, a bit of marketing. Um, so, yeah, so something completely different from your uh, onerous process of training in, in November. And yourself, Dean? Yeah, personally, I'm doing a bit of cricket, a bit of skills-based work with, um, with Robert Croft, just tinkering a few things technically, um, cricket-wise, in November. Plus, I'm doing a few days a week with um, Glamorgan Commercial Department alongside Michael Temple. And I also do a bit of business development for a criminal law firm, um, Blackford Solicitors in Cardiff. Um, really based, Dean? Uh, they are above Coffee A Go Go, um, nice. just, around the, just around the corner from Parkhouse Club. So, nice city centre location. Um, but no, it's, it's a, again, busy winter for myself and William. But then come January, I think our, our sort of real focus will be on the cricket. Yeah. So this time of year is about just staying in trim, staying in shape, keeping that focus ahead of the rest of the boys coming back and the sort of final push towards the season. Is that right? Yeah, I think you've got to balance um, how much you do in the off season with still having the hunger and desire to carry it on in April. Um, so obviously, it's it's nice to give our bodies a bit of a rest in October, tick over along with with our fitness and maybe a few skills. But yeah, then hit the ground running in um, in January. And it's one it's one to one coaching then from here on in as as well as your own fitness will is that something you're gonna obviously uh, enjoy get down with some batting coaching and uh, all the rest of that yeah just to kind of echo Dean's Dean's comments there um, I think this time of year for me personally after playing for you know I think it's ten years now professionally it's about keeping the mind fresh this time of year um, there's a lot of cricket to be played obviously post Christmas and yeah this time of year is about keeping mentally fresh uh, and keeping that appetite then for when January comes to hit the, hit, hit the ground running.